Christian, I believe uh, congratulations are in order first and foremost. Uh, how does it feel? And uh, tell, tell us about the announcement. Yeah, um, you know, more than soccer, more than uh, like life is more than just soccer, right? Life is more than, uh, you know, the the stresses of life, right? Um, you know, the, the industry that we play in and, uh, you know, just proud to, you know, finally become a dad and, um, you know, the responsibilities that come with it. Uh, but, you know, my first and foremost, I think my parents are the most proud, you know, being being uh, grandparents for the first time, um, and I, I'm sh I sure put a little bit of pressure on on Alex and my older brother. Being back in California this, this week and being with your brother and, and your family, did that make it extra special? The, the announcement coming yesterday and whatnot. Yeah, we had a, a, a baby shower for my wife, and so uh, being able to kind of do that and surprise her a little bit, um, you know, obviously it means the world to me, uh, means the world to my parents, to her as well. Uh, you know, just stoked. Uh, to 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 see what's to come and the the sleep deprived nights and you know the other stresses of life. Uh, you know, I'm just I'm I'm just thrilled and happy to to be part of it. Do you lean at all on your good friend Jordan, who of course is his fresh new dad as well? Yeah, well he's the one that put the pressure on me, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, he's talking to me about Theo and and how Theo's been and. Uh, you know the ups and downs of of the sleep cycles and and whatnot, but uh, in the end, I could see how uh, proud and and you know different Jordan is uh, once he had Theo, and um, you know how how the life life just changes. Hey, uh, due date July thirteenth. Yeah, so I'm excited for that. Obviously, with the the first uh, child, uh, you don't know when it <laughs> the child's gonna be born, but. Uh, till, till, till then, it's uh, uh, sometime in July, I should say. Christian, uh, moving on from, from that bit <laughs> to, to soccer, um, results aren't coming. And the reality is that uh, collectively as a team, uh, you guys have tried different things. They're not, they're not working. What needs to change? Yeah, uh, like we said, I think we, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to, to say again and again and repeat, right? But in this last game, I felt like we were the better team and we created those chances and unfortunately it just didn't go in, right? And that's been the story of our season, right? The final product, the final pass. And when you go through slumps like this, it always seems like it's just that, right? But the truth is, you know, it, it, it's not just that, right? We're, we're letting in goals that are very, uh, you know, unprofessional of us. Um, they're very careless, right? Uh, you know, just following runners, uh, uh, you know, moments where we just switch off. You know, those are, those are things that we can, you know, just uh, 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 do better in, right, respond in. And so that's been the most frustrating part, right? Obviously the goals, uh, we want to be scoring and we want to be an attacking team, and that will come, right? But, like, the we're just shooting ourselves in the foot because we're letting in really easy goals, I would say. But, Christian... I think something that, that does need to be brought up is it we're six games in, into the season, and yes, there is the excuse of, of different players being out or, or different tactics being implemented. At, at some point, though, we need to start relying on leadership, and it, it seems as though from, from the outside looking in, obviously, I, you know, we don't have any, any look in, into that. There seems to be a lack of, of somebody just taking the reins and, and just becoming that, that enforcer, becoming that, that person who just, you know, directs traffic or, or has those conversations with, with the, the players. Is that something that's happening in the, in the back that, that we're not privy to? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're, we're, we're not, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're responsible for, for our actions on the field, right? And, and we're holding each other accountable. I think at the end of the day, right, you know, it, it, you, from, the, from an outsider's perspective, it might not seem like uh, we're doom and gloom, right? And, and we're just sad here in training all day. Uh, but the reality is we're watching film and we're, we're, correct, we're trying to correct those mistakes, right? We're, we're pointing out the obvious, the negatives, um, um, you know, the positives, and, and we're trying to take uh, accountability. And, and, you know, it's, it's something that, you know, doesn't happen, right, uh, in, after one game, right? And, and unfortunately it should, right? But 
uh, it, it's not just one person, right? Being being the leader, it's it's a whole locker room. It's a it's the coaching staff, uh, you know, helping helping our team uh, correct these mistakes. You moved around in this game or this last game a bit. How would you describe your your comfort level and and uh, in in both moving around and in playing the two different positions? Comfort level is there. Um, it's just my role changes, right? You're you're thinking more defensive when you when you're in the midfield uh, distributing the ball a little bit more when you're a little bit higher up the field you're uh, creating space for others by running off the ball um, you know my role just changes uh, but look at the end of the day I would we would love to have you know healthy healthy players and and not be in a position where we have to rotate too much uh, but that's that's what we're in. That's the reality, and and, and we need to, uh, along with with all the other players, we need to just be, be better as a collective, whether we're playing in our position or not. Obviously, prep for Montreal just beginning. But uh, what what do you think about them coming to town and a team that you don't often get to face? Well, I believe it's their seventh road game in a row. Um, you know, we had talked about them potentially being a, a bit tired of, of just being on the road. You know, that's it's never easy. So uh, hopefully take advantage of that. Number two, you know, a five in the back, right? It's, it's interesting how, how they play. Um, very condensed lines, um, not a whole lot of spaces, so we need verticality. Uh, that's gonna be something really important going into the game. Uh, and then, you know, crashing the box, getting numbers in the box. That's where games are won and lost, right? Uh, both offensively and defensively, you need to have numbers in the box your current record you've overcome these types of lulls in the past um, what do you guys need to do in order to you know overcome this and what did you do in the past to also overcome this type of lull yeah we talked about accountability and and, and fixing those mistakes that we've made in you know the, the first uh, you know five games um, making sure we don't uh, uh, put ourselves in a position where we're chasing the game right uh, and then just being on the front foot I think uh, so that's something that we lack this year, right? That we, we have started games really poorly, uh, and, and, and it always feels like we're trying to catch up, and in, in turn, we're, we're leaving a lot of space and, and we're, we're leaving a lot of gaps defensively. Are there any positives that you can kind of add to those, you know, things that you're trying to work on? Yeah, the positivity is, is you know, we went to Galaxy and we played well, right? I, I, it's, a, it's, it's hard to say that you play well, right, when you lose 1-0, but I felt like, um, you know, under the conditions and, uh, you know, under the circumstances being down 1-0, I felt like we uh, created enough to at least tie the game after a mistake. So, um, you know, in front of goal, obviously, we can be a whole lot better, and, you know, the, the, that's the positivity, right? We, we can – there's only up from here. Uh, we've we've only scored one goal from the run of play, and so that can be a whole lot better. And uh, you know, I hope that that comes this Saturday. And then you kind of talked about you know wanting some of the other players to get healthy and come back. Um, JP is obviously back at practice. What qualities does he bring to the pitch um, that allows the team to be successful? Yeah, it gives us a, a, a deep uh, threat from uh, from a passing perspective. Um, he definitely looks to. Uh, play both penetrating balls but also uh, vertical passes um, uh, into the attack from from the midfield and that's something that we've we've lacked uh, also the the running off the ball is something that we we've we've lacked this year and so uh, Jao can bring that uh, bit of unpredictability um, when he's on the ball